Well, hey everyone. For those of you who have decided to take this journey with us, I just wanna say thank you. To be able to teach you, my students, character through life lessons is truly a gift. So this is our first video podcast of hopefully many teaching podcasts to come. Today's topic, why should you connect with people? I'm gonna tell you a quick story between a student and a teacher. Okay, so first the teacher asked, hey student, what would you say is the purpose of your life right now? The student responded, to do well in school, to get good grades, take on more leadership positions, and to get a good career ultimately. So the teacher responds, that's awesome, but what else? And the student responded, well, that's about it right now. That's all I've really been focusing on. And the teacher responded, well, what about your relationships, your family, your friends? The student said, well, of course, they're super important to me, but my number one focus right now is purely school. My relationships will always be there. The teacher responded, can I ask you something? And the student responds, sure, go for it. The teacher next tells a story and puts the student in the shoes of that person. If the top doctor in the world told you that you had a rare, painless, incurable disease and had two weeks of life to live, what would you change about your current life right now? The teacher also responded, oh, and also, because our school slash community found out about this, we started a GoFundMe and raised $1 million for you. The student responded, wow, I'd probably stop going to school, travel the world, eat good food, rent a Ferrari, and hang out with my friends. The teacher responded, so about that, your doctor called and they actually misdiagnosed you. You don't have two weeks to live. You actually only have two days to live, but you still have $1 million. And the student responded, uh, well, I wouldn't travel anymore because it would take too long. I'd probably still go do cool stuff that I've always wanted to do. The teacher responded, ah, I don't want to tell you this, but your doctor called again, being the best doctor in the world. And they misdiagnosed you again. In about two hours, you have two hours left to live. You're going to spontaneously combust. It's going to be painless, but you're going to be gone. But you still have a million dollars. The student responded, wow. I mean, if this was it, I'd probably just go home and spend the last few hours with, with, with my family and close friends. As long as this disease isn't transferable. Why should you connect with people? Because life is about relationships. You know, for the past 10 years, I've told this story to about over 10,000 people and almost every single person had pretty much the same answer. If I had two weeks to live and a million dollars, I'd do everything I've always wanted to do. Travel the world, buy a house, enjoy their life and just party. But if I had two days to live and still that same million dollars, I would spend that last time, even two hours with my family, my friends, my loved ones and really let them know how thankful they are for that. So the takeaway, if you know that is what you may want at the end of your life, then why not live your whole life? What what would your life look like if your whole life was lived, prioritizing relationships, caring for your family, and showing your loved ones gratitude? Don't get me the wrong way. I'm not saying that school is important. I'm an, I'm an educator, but I'm saying that we can all do a better job at valuing our relationships. Go give your parents a hug. Go give your sibling, like go let your sibling know how much you care about them. Uh, Because ultimately this is the purpose of life. Thank you. And I hope to see you uh, during the next podcast.